right, we are back and well into the loser's bracket here of the CCA Summer Series qualifiers. This is the second qualifier, of course, and well, we got St. Clair continuing, continuing on their loser's bracket run, now going up against the likes of Florida Southern. And one more round to go before you get into those best of fives. St. Clair with some pretty big uh, series wins recently. And well, a good start right there. All right, just like that, I guess we're going to pick up where we left off here. Nitrox is going to get himself on the board pretty much right away after just an awkward control there from uh, the one player on the side of Florida Southern. So now just setting the tone off right. Yeah, see Zipper there almost with the final touch, unable to get any sort of contact on the ball, but. I don't know what we call uh, this guy. Let's go. Let's go with Dot. There's a few interesting names that I'm trying to figure out how to yeah. pronounce real quick here. Uh, so okay, we'll go with <laughs> Zipper Soge and I uh, guess. Oh, period. Zipper Soge and Dot. Yeah, we'll go with Dot. I think that's pretty straightforward. Spoons with a good luck here. Shot on goal. Great save there by Dot. Dot himself. Second chance <laughs> opportunity. Not going to do anything there for Nitrix. And back the other way, it's going to be Dot with a shot on net, but a great save again from Spoons. Yeah, fantastic save. That was a very, very close opportunity there for Dot and the rest of Florida Southern College. But now it is going to be Nitrix nearly getting their zippers, actually going to deny any sort of advancement in that play for the time being. Spoots now off into the corner, trying to center this up. There is another Saints member there, but it is going to be interrupted. Dot as well as Zipper try to push things up. Soj is right behind in hot pursuit as well, but an awkward bounce actually leaves the net wide open there for Nitrix, who's just going to pop it in there nice and easy. Wide open it was as uh, that ball just trickles its way into the right post. As Nitrix doesn't really get a clean look at that ball, <laughs> but <laughs> just gets just enough for it to, to slowly make its way into the net. So good start here from St. Clair. I mean, the biggest thing that we, we've seen, I think, so far today is their fast starts to some of these games. And right now, two goals already in the first minute and a half looking good. I mean, they're usually fast starts, but normally they end up kind of ending up as a 1-1 tie. Yeah. This is probably the first one in a while where we've seen just two go into one side at all, let alone it going into uh, the Saints' favor. So now it's going to be up to Florida Star and try and get the momentum back with a quick answer of some sort here. But it does not look like that is going to be the case, at least as of this moment. Christian versus Dot in the one-on-one. -on -one going to go to Dot for the time being, but now just side of Florida Southern trying to get out of their own zone. Nitrix is going to carry this one out and now we're bounce actually over in the, uh, the de defensive zone here for St. Clair, but no harm, no foul. They just clear it and they're still sitting pretty as another clearing or another center centering opportunity rather there for the Saints. They're dictating, you know, where this ball goes on the field pretty much for the entirety of game one here, but good opportunity for Zipper 22 to get that one on net. But easy enough clear for Spoods as he's going to get another save to his name and add that to the tally for today. He's had a ton of them. Absolutely. And now Nitro except to the sky is pretty much right at home. But granted, no boost to make something happen this time. Big bounce, actually. But that would have had to pull the third player, and Spoods was not ready to pull the trigger on that one this time by. And to be fair, he didn't have to. So going to be bouncing around in the Saints zone for the time being. Nitrix, good clear. It's going to end up going into the Florida center of the zone where Dot, as well as Soj, is there trying to pick this one up. Christian, though, with the brief interception, double touches it on over into the corner. But immediately answered here by Dot, who gets a little breakup for himself. Yeah, Dot looking to center of this ball. The chance is there, but Spoods with a nice soft touch to keep control in his name. And just a few seconds ago, it looked a little bit sketchy. We had Nitrix and Spoods with seven combined boosts as uh, Florida Southern was swarming the St. Clair net, but nothing doing as of yet. That Ooh. shot's just gonna go wide, almost snuck its way in as Nitrix tries to follow that one up, but a good save there from Dot to get that one out and cleared from the blue zone. Good shot on goal, good opportunity here. Dot oh. all alone. Okay. Spoods just a little bit late, but a great individual effort. It's gonna get Florida Southern on the board. It just took one opportunity to find the way through and not sure enough found it where, again, Spoods is just kind of caught off to the side after looking to try and get some boost. Did retreat just barely too late, but now one goal game, minute 30, still plenty of Rocket League to go. Plenty of Rocket League indeed. And, well, Good pressure read from Dot, just knew no one was around, so he just decided to take it himself. Mm -hmm. Got the job done, but St. Clair is still swarming. Good opportunity now for Nitrix, but good clear. That's going to be Soge getting rid of that one. As Zipper tries to follow that one up with a shot on goal for himself, but Spoods able to read that first hop and clear the ball out again. Another save for him, but looks like Florida Southern starting to put the pressure on here. 
Yeah, now still kind of stuck in the Saints zone, but it's going to kind of be an awkward pop fly through the center where the Saints are going to be able to capitalize for at least a moment. Soj in his own zone, trying to take it slow there, only having about 20 boosts, so opting not to take it. Dot, however, firing on through, but it's going to be immediately picked up there by Spoos, who is on the crossbar. Shot on target right after the fact is actually going to go just wide, barely. But now 30 seconds left to go here. But Soj and the rest of Florida Southern are looking for that tying goal, and they are right on the doorstep. So then Florida's best opportunity to tie the game up. Nothing going as yet as Christian looking to get a soft touch onto this one. He oh. does, but just wide of the goal. Soj there to help with the clearance, but it's not clear yet. Good touch again off the crossbar. It's going to be Nitrix trying to get that one in, but not going to happen. Back the other way we go is Florida Southern. Dot in a prime position for a setup, but the ball's going to go back up into the air. Spoos is trying to drop this one down. Four seconds remain. Three seconds now. Still in the air. Oh, Dot oh with the last chance opportunity. Oh. Wide open net in front of him, but no time on the clock. And it's going to be St. Clair winning game one. All right, a fantastic start there for the Saints. Immediately getting those two goals right off the rip was huge, but there was still plenty of offense on the side of Florida Southern College. They did end up having five shots, or no, more than five shots, seven shots there for themselves, forcing five saves all out of Spoods. So again, Spoods just absolute defensive masterclass so far here in these series, it seems, with both goals, of course, going to Nitrix and then one goal going over to Dot. Yeah, um, I had, it, it, it felt like Florida Southern really came on late in the game, just uh, mm -hmm. just a little bit too little too late for them. Uh, Sinclair able to play some pretty solid defense. They had a couple of good opportunities, uh, FSU did, but uh, not able to convert on any of them. And while we get into game two now, still in the best of three stage, so this this is do or die for Florida Southern and, well, St. Clair once again to try to close out this series. Yeah, of course, this is a the last round before we get into those best of five matches. So, like you're saying, do or die here for... Florida Southern College. And one thing that the it's not uh, anything analytical, but I just want to give a shout out to Spoods because whether he realizes or not, or not, his car's paint scheme reminds me of Dylan Hart Sr. Oh. So a little bit of a, a fan for that to say the I least like there. That. But uh, nonetheless, let's get into game number two here. What could possibly be the game winner here if the Saints can pull this off? Could be Dot trying to carry the team to victory, get their first game on the board here. Losers round number five. Think they're trying to beat UTK White, who's sitting uh -oh. and waiting at the loser quarterfinals, but a good <laughs> shot on goal from Dot. Not able to convert oh again. Christian able to knock that one away somehow, some way. Zipper didn't put that one in. And St. Clair, who have come so close to dropping goals, <laughs> stay alive yet again. No goals on the board. Okay, they had no business making one of those saves, let alone three. So fantastic yeah. job on the Saints to be able to get a grip off of an uh, unfortunate little misplay in the crease. But they make it happen. Now they're the ones actually on the offense for themselves, at least until Dunn has something to say about it now with Florida Southern in the Saints zone once again. Spoods up to the sky. is going to try and beat out Soj. Looks like he's able to do so, but Dot is there. Touch. But not quite. Going to be able to get this time by. Decent opportunity for Christian there. Almost had a chance, but good defense. I believe it was Soj who came flying across your screen to block that one away. Mm -hmm. And Dot now trying to set up for his teammates, but good demo there. So regardless of the ball getting cleared out, Florida Southern still able to retain possession of the ball. And now they're trying to get it deep into the zone. So trying to bounce it off the roof and into the net. Dot there looking oh. for a nice touch, but good D from Spoots. Now one-on-one, -on -one. good block oh. there from Christian, but no, nothing doing there. Good opportunity, but able, unable to convert. I love the play, but even better play there coming out of Florida Southern on that defender to still just make their move exactly when it counted and able to get just enough of a piece of that to go just ever so slightly too wide on that left side. We see again Spoos just immediate demo taking one of the defenders off the board and the near centering opportunity not going to go in their favor. So Florida Southern right back into the same zone and actually big passing play and Spoos is going to find the right side of the net. Yeah. Another player getting caught out, looking for boost. Spoods opens up the scoring there. What a good, pass. good, yeah, great pass from Nitrix. The clear and the pass towards midfield. Spoods with just a light touch. That one's gonna fire into the net. And well, our longest time we've had probably without a goal is officially erased as St. Clair now on the board. 
Absolutely, and it looks like they're not stopping just yet. Christian had all the time in the world there with that one. Gets it directly dead center on the on the net, but the player on the side of Florida Southern able to make the save. Spoots is just an absolute menace right now here. Really living up to the name, so to speak, if that paint job means anything. But now Christian right centering once again. It is wide open for Spoots to seal the deal, and that's goal number two in this game. Goal number two again. We saw last series how good he was, how many goals he was able to contribute for this team as Christian is kind of taking a back seat and Spoots has been their key goal scorer over the last four games or so. And uh, well, St. Clair, exactly where they want to be right now with that 2-0 uh -oh. lead in Nitrix, perhaps a <laughs> bit of a mistake, but Zipper there for the defense. Second chance opportunity, just gonna go wide. It was Spoots trying to get his third of the game, or the second, uh, sorry, third of the game there. Nothing doing yet. Florida Southern just seems shook, rattled, and just wrecked as of this moment here as the Saints are just able to go exactly where they please for the most part. And that's going to be another shot on target. That barely is going to end up going wide after being saved there by Zipper. But we have two Saints right in the crease that we have a little bit of a Canadian standoff as they're not quite sure which one is going to take the shot. Either of them end up doing it, so it's going to be Sosh who carries this thing out with next to no boost in the tank. And off to Dot, who is there. Spoots is up to the skies to meet him, however. So going to use everything they have to try and at least clear for just a moment's time right back into the Saints end. Dot nearly found a solid shot opportunity alongside Soj, but it is going to be saved immediately. It really feels like Christian and Spoots have almost swapped roles and Christian's been the key defender here in game two specifically while Spoots has been the offensive powerhouse. But good opportunity there again. Good clear from Christian. Dot keeps the pressure on looking for that second touch, but no, it's nope. Spoots to take that away from him. Now second chance for St. Clair. Spoots with a shot on goal. Just a bit wide, and Nitrix caught out. This could spell trouble for St. Clair. Florida Southern can jump on this ball. They do, but everybody back in time for the Saints to keep that out of their net. The Saints jumped on the ball. They jumped on each other. They did anything they had to to basically get themselves into the net to stop that one from going through. Now with a minute left, Saints are just seconds away from moving on into the, the lower quarterfinals. Just have to hang on just a little bit more, but with the way uh, Florida Southern College is playing, I feel like the Saints kind of have this in the bag. There isn't necessarily a lot of pressure going towards the net until I maybe eat my words. Not quite. Not this time anyway. Nope. Somehow stays out. Dot with a second oh chance. My. Perhaps a third oh. chance, but no boost. Unable to get the right angle on it, too. And now back the other way we go. Christian out front of the goal. This one set up perfectly, but Nitrix comes flying in. Unable to get any sort of look on that. Spoots trying to clear this one out. Zipper with the shot on goal. Oh. But guess who? It's Christian. Knocks that one away once again. 20 seconds left to go. Saints trying to close it out. These two just smashing this ball back and forth from crease to crease. It definitely feels like. But with 10 seconds left to go, I think Florida Southern College has unfortunately run out of time. They're going to bring this close. They've had plenty of opportunities, but the defensive line from St. Clair has just been too dang strong. And St. Clair are going to move on into the lower quarters. Yeah, a near perfect series. Oh. Well, <laughs> the ball doesn't quite make it into the net <laughs> as they try to get their third on the board but super super clean series from the, the from the Saints boys there um, in a much needed one as they want to get that series as over and done with as quick as possible as they await a more fierce opponent in UTK. Absolutely, you get these quick games done, you get to actually have like a quick water break, bathroom break, whatever, without having to rush and keep yourself warm with whatever, uh, whatever um, practice tool you want to end up using, but trying to go from game to game to game all the time gets exhausting real quick. I mean, I'm sure you know, like even regardless if it's uh, Rocket League or Call of Duty, just jumping from game to game just it's exhausting after a while, to say the least. Absolutely. I mean, th these days can end up being so, so long. Luckily, with Rocket League, these games are fairly quick. I mean, mm -hmm. five minutes, unless you get into some crazy overtimes. Uh, but yeah, you, you need breaks. You need to be able to, to snack on something at least or, or drink water at the very <laughs> least. Um, stay hydrated, stay focused for the next one coming up. And well, speaking of the next game coming up, it's going to be the right. University of Kentucky. Uh, sorry, the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. Uh, um, okay. A pretty pretty good team as well. I believe they were within the top 50. They were right there before, yeah. I think. Um, so a, a good opponent here for St. Clair and a big test yet again. I was going to say, I don't know who UTK White is until you mention it. It's like, okay, wait a second. These, this is another one of those fringe CRL schools where yes. they may get in there, but they may like be like team like 8 to 12 mm -hmm. that used to make it in. But definitely a strong enough squad to be able to get there in the first place. So, again, no slouch here for the Saints to have to go up against. And with that match basically being 
like already known and good to go, I'm sure just going to quickly record scores and hop into the next one. So my point about uh, taking a bit of a breather might be a little bit uh, off considering that match is ready. But uh, one break we can quickly take is to fix up our overlays and everything and get the lobby all set up. So we're going to take five. We should be back on the pitch in no time. 